Hello my friends, Amy Esther here with week 32 of my pregnancy, so close to meeting baby boy. Oh, every week we're just getting a little bit closer, you guys. 32 weeks, we're almost there. If you've missed any of my pregnancy updates, there is a playlist in the description below where you can get caught up on any of the weeks that you have missed of my pregnancy. Every single week of my pregnancy is in there, so you can see all the updates since day one. And you guys, I am honestly struggling this update today. I didn't do a nice setup in my last video, and so I was like, okay, today I gotta make it look nicer, make it look good. My heart rate's at 120, and I'm just sitting here. So anyway, I just feel, I don't feel very good. And I think when I don't feel good, especially when having a flare up. So those of you, I'm sorry if you are new here and you're really confused on what I'm talking about, but I have several chronic illnesses and I have POTS, postural tachycardia syndrome. And when I have a POTS flare, and I have bad tachycardia, meaning my heart rate beats super fast, like it is right now, faster than it should be while I'm sitting in a chair, it causes a lot of brain fog. And I feel like I'm kind of in that place right now. Um, I did actually do a live Q&A this week. I um, actually filmed these a couple weeks ahead just so that when baby boy comes, I have content for you guys in case I'm super busy when he's first here and I don't have time to create content. I filmed these ahead of time um, and I did a live Q&A this week and it was actually the last one I'm doing for right now because I keep getting migraines every time. And anyway, during that Q&A, I was having just severe brain fog. Like I feel like I just made no sense and like, I don't even know what I was talking about. So I apologize for those of you who were there live. I ended up deleting it and I'm gonna redo it. Um, hopefully at a time where I'm feeling better. I was planning on doing it today. I don't know if that's gonna happen because I just feel like my brain is just not working. Like I can't remember anything I'm gonna say. And pregnancy brain is like a real thing too. And so pregnancy brain plus my normal brain fog that I deal with when I'm having bad tachycardia and a bad flare up, it's just like, Oh, I, I don't even know what I'm saying, you guys. So I apologize that this video and probably like my last, a lot of videos that I have made, the last few weeks of my pregnancy updates have been like this where I just like cannot think straight. And that's where I am today. So I apologize, especially if this is your first time here. And I don't even know if I'm making sense. I didn't really introduce myself. You can go to my channel and watch any other video. It'll probably introduce me better than this one because I just am kind of scattered today and I feel like most of my pregnancy updates have been like that recently. So I apologize. <laughs> um, usually when I film other videos, I don't do them on specific days. I do them at times and days when I'm feeling better and so I can speak a little more clearly, but my pregnancy updates, I always do them on a certain day because I don't wanna do them late for you. It wouldn't make sense for me to do a pregnancy update two weeks after that week of pregnancy. And so I try to do them on a specific day, but sometimes, recently, all the time, <laughs> I just feel like my brain is not really working right. So if none of this makes sense, I apologize. That's my real life and that's what we are dealing with right now. So, so sorry about that. <sighs> so other updates besides severe brain fog and just, tachycardia that I've been having for the last little while is my blood pressure actually has been coming up. I had really low blood pressure. I've been taking salt pills and I do have a video coming out soon about the supplements that I've been taking. So I will share like the exact brand and everything that I've been doing supplement wise to help keep this baby safe and to help keep me feeling uh, better. I don't feel great, but <laughs> feeling better. I will have that video coming out soon. But other things, you guys, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, blood pressure's going up. Uh, still having gallbladder issues. My gallbladder's hurting really bad. It kind of comes and goes though. I would say like it's not every single day now. It's some days it's worse than others. But, you know, still dealing with that. Really bad heartburn all the time. And I typically don't get heartburn this bad. So I think most of this is just pregnancy related heartburn. But that's been really bad. It's also been super hot outside. And so I like I have an ice pack here on my lap because I just am getting so hot. And when I film these videos, I can't have my swamp cooler on or my fan on because it's just really loud. And <laughs> sometimes I leave it on just because I 
can't deal with it, but it sounds pretty bad and it drives me crazy when I'm editing and um, watching my videos. Not that I would usually watch my videos later. I don't know why. It's just weird for me to watch my own videos later. When I'm editing it, it just bugs me. So I assume it probably bugs you guys too. So I'm trying <laughs> to just cool down with an ice pack. Mm, my put it on my face for a little bit, but I have been so hot and I um, have heat intolerance. Um, just outside of pregnancy, I have heat intolerance. And so I get really sick in the heat. And so it's been a rough summer. It's July, you guys. Oh man, July is so hot, but we're getting close. And of course, baby boys do in the middle of August and middle end of August. So pregnancy, the biggest time is during the hottest months. So that's been super fun. I definitely feel like I'm kind of swelling, like my feet are swelling a little bit. Um, I do wear compression socks all day, every day, even when I'm not pregnant. And so that definitely helps. So if you are not someone who wears uh, compression socks regularly, like I do, <laughs> um, I wear them for my POTS symptoms. But anyway, oh, got to change position. Sorry. I'm just so uncomfortable today. Oh, man. Anyway, and now my chair is spinning. Okay. Can we do this? My chair spinning? It is spinning. Can you guys even tell? I don't know if you guys can notice, but my chair is totally spinning. Now I'm facing this way. Okay. Oh, you guys, I am just, I'm just a mess. I really am. And I feel like all these pregnancy updates recently, the past like two months have just been a mess. And I used to like write down all my notes, all the things I want to tell you. And I haven't even been doing that because I don't even know what to tell you. And I get here and... I just kind of ramble about nothing. So I am so sorry. I don't know why you guys watch these videos, but I'm grateful you're here. And maybe it's just so you guys, maybe there's some of you who feel the same way I do, who go through the same things I do and you understand me, but my brain is just, it's all over the place. Okay, so pregnancy symptoms, heartburn. I also had really bad nausea. It's getting worse. I, last night was the worst. I had dinner and I got to that point where I probably was, full and like ready to be done eating, but I didn't have that much left on my plate, you know, and we'd gone out to eat last night. And so I didn't want to waste the food. And so I ended up just eating it. And I think I ate too much because I was just so sick after like so nauseous. I could not get off the couch. And I've talked about this before. I just don't really throw up. I don't know why, like my body doesn't know how. And so I just feel like, will you please throw up? Because I feel so terrible, but I just can't do it. And so I was super, super nauseous last night and I've just been nauseous on and off. Um, but then I get really shaky if I don't eat. So I just have to force myself to eat. It's kind of miserable. I honestly, this pregnancy has been, been rough. I mean, I know you guys following me and you can tell, but it's just been hard. And I feel like mentally it's been hard. I actually had a breakdown this week, uh, earlier this week, I think it was like Monday night. I just broke down crying and I was just like, this is so hard. I'm so grateful to be pregnant, but I want it to be over. Like I feel so bad like complaining about pregnancy because I was told I wouldn't be able to get pregnant. There's a lot of people who struggle to get pregnant and I've had miscarriages. And so like, I am so grateful that this baby is healthy and safe, but this pregnancy has been really hard. And so I'm kind of in just, I'm just in the place where I'm grateful that to have a baby, but I'm ready to actually have him here. I am just sick of being pregnant and I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for complaining about that, but it's hard. Like pregnancy is hard. Not getting pregnant is much harder. I will say that. Not being able to get pregnant, miscarriages 10 times harder, but that doesn't mean that pregnancy is easy either. Pregnancy is still hard. And I've talked to people who had miscarriages and suffered infertility a lot longer than I did. And they feel so bad complaining about pregnancy or complaining about the newborn stage or just like having a hard time with things or dealing with depression and things like that during pregnancy or postpartum depression. And the thing is, it's all hard. Like life is just hard no matter what situation you are in. It's always going to be hard. And I, um, I've just been struggling. I have. And I have a lot of ways of coping with it. So I feel like I've still like in general been happy. Like I'm not like a miserable, like super negative person um, all day long. These videos are strictly about my pregnancy. And so 
most of my negativity <laughs> is towards like the symptoms that I'm feeling. So I feel like these often come across as, wow, I am just so negative about everything. And really during the day, I don't feel like that mentally. Like I don't feel like I'm in this like terrible place mentally. Um, I have a lot of ways of coping with it. In fact, I made an entire course about how I do that. And I've actually been redoing that course at this time just because I've, I've wanted to make it a little more professional. And so I'm redoing that. And it's kind of helped me because I'm going through such a hard time. It's helped me to help myself, if that makes sense, but also to be even hopefully more relatable in this kind of updated course because I'm literally going through that right now. I'm going through just feeling so, so sick, just having a hard time getting out of bed. This is like the extent of me getting ready and getting up and doing something is sitting in front of this camera. And I'm pretty sure I wear this same dress in every single video. It's the only thing that fits. Um, but I'm feeling so many severe symptoms and I've had breakdowns and just a lot of, you know, depressed feelings and all of those things. And so I feel like it's a good time for me to redo that program because Sometimes when you get out of that feeling, right, when you're no longer feeling depressed and you can look back and be like, oh yeah, life is good, even though it's hard, it's still good. It's, it, it can come off as not as genuine, right? But since I'm actually going through that, I'm teaching myself the same concepts that I'm teaching you guys in that course. Um, anyways, there's a course on my website. So in August, head to my website and you'll be able to see that course. Um, right now, I because I'm editing it and stuff, um, I don't have it available, just so you know. But once August is here, it should be available and ready for you. But point is, I just feel like that has really helped me because it's helped me to want to put out that course and it's helped me to live what I preach, you know? And, and it's just been, it's been really good for me. So even though I have a lot of symptoms, I've been really sick, my brain is scattered, I just feel like this complete mess I actually feel like this is a good time to be a mess <laughs> because I only have one child right now. I can't really go outside anyways because it's summer and I get really bad heat intolerance, like I said. Um, it's also, we're still in kind of quarantine time with all of the crazy virus stuff going on. My husband works from home and that makes it a little bit easier on me if I do need to sleep in or I do need to have something. He's a little bit more flexible in that way. So anyway, I know this is super scattered, not really about pregnancy. <laughs> like I said, my brain's just kind of all over the place right now. But the point is, I feel like overall I'm happy, even though I have days where I literally just cry and I break down and I complain and <laughs> I feel depressed. But overall with my life, I feel really blessed and really happy. I know that doesn't make sense to you guys. If you take my course, it will make more sense. Um, but it's just been, it's been a rough few weeks. And this week I, as for my anemia, sorry you guys, I know, again, this is super scattered, but you know what, we're just gonna go with it. And one day YouTube's gonna shut me down for just being the worst YouTuber <laughs> because I don't really know what I'm saying. But anyway, um, Anemia. I have been really anemic this pregnancy if you've been following along and I've tried all the supplements. I have been tested for lots of different things and I came a few weeks ago. I found out that I am low in B12 and low in iron. So I have been trying just everything to get those up and I started getting iron shots this week. I got two this week actually and the day after, the night after I got my first shot, I actually felt really good. Like more back to my normal chronic illness, still feeling a lot of symptoms, but not like I can't get out of bed <laughs> kind of feeling. And that happened the night after my first shot and then the next morning, like I kind of felt the same way. So I got another one yesterday and last night I actually felt pretty good. This morning I felt pretty good. And my husband and I were like, okay, let's just go to Target because I feel good today. <laughs> and so we went to Target and we were there for probably 10 minutes and I just like felt like I was going to pass out. I was just like shot, like all my energy was gone that I had that morning. So I don't know. It just doesn't really seem to be helping, even the iron shots, which is a real bummer. So I might try B12 shots too. 
I don't know. I'm just a mess. Also, I feel like I'm sweating bullets over here, you guys. Oh, do you guys care if I put this on? Well, you can't respond to me because this is live, but I'm putting my ice pack on my neck because that will be a little bit cooler. Anyway, okay. Um, other things. Oh, I did get some testing results back. I think I guys, I told you guys that I did a 24 hour urine test where basically I just peed in a jug for 24 hours and had to see how much I was going. And I had some mix up with, with it. The lab messed up the testing. And anyways, there was just some mix ups. Point is, finally we got my results back and basically the results are you pee too much. <laughs> I ended up having to do the test twice and both times that's a consensus that I am peeing way too much for the amount of water that I'm drinking. So I don't know if that's why I've been so anemic. Like maybe it, all of my, my vitamins and minerals are just being immediately peed out as soon as I take them. I'm not sure, but apparently that is happening. And so my doctor is sending me to an endocrinologist. So I've been seeing three different doctors this pregnancy. My OBGYN, of course, um, my primary care doctor, and then now an endocrinologist. So that will be coming up soon. <sighs> so we'll see how that goes. But mainly I've just been so fatigued and it's just not getting better. <laughs> I feel like, like I do the smallest things and I'm exhausted. And not exhausted where I'm like, oh man, I'm tired. I should lay down for a minute. But like laying down, I still feel exhausted. And like I don't feel better after laying down for three hours. I just still feel so terrible and I try to like stand up and walk around and it's just bad it's been really bad and my my main things I try to do every day is entertain my child and keep my house as clean as possible so it doesn't get disgusting while I'm having such a bad flare-up but besides those two things I feel like I'm just a little whale that just not a little well a gigantic well that just lays lays down all the time and doesn't do anything it's bad anyway you guys I know this is super rambly and all of these have been super rambly and I don't know why you guys watch these because it's really just me complaining about all the the problems that I'm going through so I apologize and again I just want you guys to know that overall with life I'm happy like genuinely but that doesn't mean that life isn't hard you can be happy and you can feel blessed with your life and still have a hard life. And I think these videos help me in a way because I do get to just kind of word vomit and share with you all the complaints that I have. And it just kind of helps me to get it all out. And it almost like refreshes me as I start another week that like, okay, this is all the crap that's happening. I get it all out there and then I'm like, okay, I can do this. I can deal with this. So sorry that these come across as so negative, but it really is more just for me to get out all the crap and to help me to feel mentally and physically better. It's weird. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I think that's everything. Oh, I didn't tell you my weight gain. I'm 154 pounds. So I've gained what? 20, no, 33 pounds. Is that right? I started out like 121. So I've gained about 33 pounds this pregnancy, um, which I think is pretty normal. I'm getting a couple pounds a week, one or two pounds a week. So that's all good. And as for any other symptoms, it's just that I'm getting gigantic. So any other symptoms are really just the classic giant pregnancy symptoms, having a hard time sleeping, uh, back, low back pain, you know, like belly pain. I've had a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions recently, lots of baby kicks. He is super active. So all of that normal stuff, I guess I kind of skip over that a lot just because I'm like, oh, that's just normal pregnancy. And then I just talk about all the extra things that are going on. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, this video is long and I don't know who else is still watching this, but you guys are amazing. And thank you for being along for my pregnancy journey. I know that pregnancy is hard, but I promise you can do it. If this is something that you want to do, if you want to have kids, if you want to grow your family, it's only nine months. It's nine months and it's hard. And there are days you will cry and there are days where you will just say, why am I doing this? And then that sweet baby comes and you're like, okay, totally worth it. I will do this again. <laughs> That's what happens. And 
it's just, it's a blessing. And I feel like any amazing thing in life does not come easy. And same thing with kids. And of course, they're not easy once they're here. There's still challenges once they're here. But especially that pregnancy stage, it's hard. It's hard. And I know there are some women who just really enjoy it. They enjoy every minute, which is amazing for them. But there's other people who honestly just hate pregnancy. I'm, I'm in the middle. Like, I don't, like, despise pregnancy. <laughs> I am so, like, blessed to be pregnant. And I'm, I, um... I don't hate every minute of it. I think it's fun to fill baby cakes, all of that. But I'm not one that's like, feels like I'm glowing and just like loves being pregnant and carrying the child all the time. I would much rather have the child in my arms than be pregnant. That's just the way I am. <laughs> but anyways, point is pregnancy is hard, but if it's something you wanna do, my friends, and your doctor and your health permits it, then why not go for it? because everything good in life does not come easy. That's the truth. Okay, anyway, so those are my two cents from your life coach, Amy. <laughs> anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this rambly video. Love you guys, I love doing these. They really do restart my week so well. So, we're gonna get to a better week. We're gonna do good this week. We're gonna do okay. Okay, <laughs> love you guys, bye. <laughs>